for heaven's sakes. No wonder I'm in radio. Oh, hey everybody. This is Vincent Aiello of the Fighter Pilot Podcast. Welcome to episode three. We're talking flight equipment and clothing. And here to help us do that is our buddy Aaron Vernalis. Hey Vern, how's it going? Doing good, Jello. Okay, you're going to show everybody all the flight equipment we just talked about, but what uh, what have you got for starters here? Uh, we'll start off with this is the, the basic one-piece flight suit we were talking about, Nomex okay. fire retardant material. And then uh, down here we've got the uh, the flight boots with the steel toe. And then we've got our, our harness, G-suit, and the helmet. Okay, so let's pretend you're going flying. Okay. And uh, just walk us through how you get geared up. So first thing I'm going to do with the flight suit, as we were talking about, is I'm going to roll the sleeves down, make sure I get that good protection that's provided uh, with the, uh, the fire retardant capability. The, uh, the G-suit is actually made out of Nomex too, so it's a uh, fire retardant as well, so it wouldn't, wouldn't melt on you. Okay. First part, you're going to, you've got two snap fittings. And that's going to come around the, uh, the waist and the abdomen to provide that, that extra pressure to keep the, the blood from pulling in there. Next part. The G-suit just wraps right on. It's got two buttons to guide it again. It slides all the way down, and it's actually got a zipper on the side that you can utilize to get a little extra uh, tightening on there. Keep it nice and snug, right? Exactly. Now these are these are custom adjusted by the uh, the parachute riggers to how big your thighs are. So, you know, after Christmas, I got to loosen it up a little bit. So. <laughs> And the, the different kind of uh, model of G-suits that you have uh, vary. Uh, this one actually has two uh, straps on here for putting kneeboard cards for while you're flying. So that's okay. kind of helpful there. Nice. Okay, uh, next part is the uh, survival vest with the torsion harness. This is an integrated setup, so it all goes on at once. Easiest way to get in this thing is just lay it down on the ground as such. And you just kind of step into it. Looks like it takes a fair amount of contortion to get this thing on. This is the most tiring part of an entire flight. For me. <laughs> All right, so now the main part of the harness is attached. Let's go ahead and Velcro up. Rather zip up the front, and then this is the part here that'll be the, the make or break part. Uh, if this isn't tight here, everything else will come loose during an ejection and during a uh, parachute opening. So it needs to be all the slack taken out now because if it's it taken out when the parachute opens, it may not go well for you. Exactly, and they, they say you want to have about one fist um, okay. of uh, play underneath it because otherwise you can get too tight mm. and actually restrict your lungs mm. and cause okay. uh, hypoxic effects. Okay. Uh, there's two further straps down here that will help uh, bring this up. So in theory, if I was to eject, I'd have my, my upper fittings here that we talked about right. would be attached to the parachute and okay. that would be the only part that it would be attached. Okay. The lower uh, fittings here would be holding the seat pan underneath it. Gotcha. All right, so the next step, I'll go ahead and put on the gloves. Make sure we get a good seal on there so uh, no fire would be able to get up in there. I'll go ahead and utilize the Velcro. Final part, I usually wear uh, internal hearing protection as well because it actually gets that loud with the jet noise, not inside the cockpit per se, but uh, the radios and when the APU kicks off. So I'll have double hearing protection, but I'm not going to utilize that right now. And I'll usually have a, uh, a skull cap on as well to absorb any kind of sweat. So the helmet basically goes on as such. And the pigtail we talked about earlier connects the headphones into the main system. So that way I, I can get the, uh, the microphone and have the headset and I'll be able to talk on the radios and also out to, uh, uh, to another air crew or mm -hmm. anybody else I need to, to reach out to. All right. 
Final part, when you're in the aircraft, talked about the two, uh, two bayonet fittings here. Mask goes on. So you're going to have to probably hold your breath now because there's no air provided until <laughs> you get connected to the airplane. But All right, and there is your Mark 1 Mod 0 Navy F-18 pilot.